Hi guys, in the previous videos, we learned how to solve a few linear diophantine equations. Here, we will see how to solve yet another type of linear diophantine equation, which is a single equation in three variables x, y, z. Before we begin, we will give one general theorem. The theorem states that if we have a single equation in n unknown variables x1, x2, xn and the equation is a1x1 plus a2x2 plus dash dash anxn is equal to c where all the ais are integers then even the right hand side c is an integer then such an equation has a solution if and only if the GCD of all the coefficients AI divides the right hand side C. This theorem we will apply to our equation AX plus BY plus CZ is equal to K. Let's look at one example. What if we are asked to find the equation 5X plus 15Y plus 20Z is equal to 1 is solvable or not? First thing we will do is find the GCD of 5, 15 and 20. Here we see the GCD is 5. And then check whether 5 divides the right hand side or not. We see 5 does not divide 1. Hence, such an equation does not have a solution. Let's look at another example. What if we have to find the solution of 8x plus 6y plus 14z is equal to 10. We'll again do the check. We will see the GCD of 8, 6 and 14, which is 2, divides the right hand side 10. Hence, the equation is solvable. Now, to solve the equation, what we do, we take any two terms to start with. Either we can take 8x plus 6y or we can take 6y plus 14z. Or we can take 14z plus 8x and equate it to the GCD of the coefficients times the variable u. What if we take the two terms 6y and 14z from our equation and equate it to GCD of 6 and 14 times the variable u. We will get 6y plus 14z is equal to 2u. We will substitute this equation in our equation 1 and that will give us 8x plus 2u is equal to 10. You have reduced your equation 1 into an equation with two variables which can be easily solved. What if we divide it by 2 all over? We will get 4x plus u is equal to 5. Such an equation can be solved easily because it is a linear diophantine equation in two variables x and u. The initial solution can be seen to be 1, 1. If we take x value to be 1 and u value to be 1, we know that 4 plus 1 will give us the right hand side 5. So, x naught is 1 and u naught is 1, which will give us the general solution as x is equal to 1 plus t and u is 1 minus 4t. We have got the value of u which you have to use in the future. Now we will go back to our second equation. Divided by 2, we will get 3y plus 7z is equal to u. We will solve this. You know that if y naught is taken to be minus 2 and z naught is taken to be 1, then we can write 3 and 7 as a linear combination of the GCD, which is 1. So, we get 3 minus 2 plus 7 into 1 is equal to 1. In our equation 3y plus 7z is equal to u, which we had to solve, right hand side was u. Let's multiply by u all over. 
we will get 3 minus 2u plus 7u is equal to u. Substitute the value of u which you had found earlier as u was 1 minus 4t into this equation. Now, this equation was in y and z. So, the general solution becomes y is equal to y naught, which is minus 2 plus 8t plus 7 times t1. 1 is the GCD, so we will write this as 7t1. And z is equal to z naught, which is 1 minus 4t minus 3 times t1. The final solution, if we write all x, y, z solutions at one place, is x is 1 plus t, y is minus 2 plus 8t plus 7t1 from here, and z we get as 1 minus 4t minus 3t1. Where t and t1 can take the value 0 plus minus 1 plus minus 2, etc. Let's check whether the solution which we have found is correct or not. If we take t and t1 to be 0 and substitute in these three equations, we will get x, y, z as 1 minus 2, 1. Substitute and you will see that the equation is, original equation is satisfied. We keep on giving values to t and t1 and we will get different solutions x, y, z. Which, and this is the reason we get infinite solutions. As we said in the beginning, we can take any two terms. So, here let's try what if we take 8x plus 6y and equate it to GCD times the variable u. We will substitute this in our equation 1 and we'll get 2u plus 14z is equal to 10. We solve this Diophantine equation in two variables u and z. And first let's divide this by 2. We'll get u plus 7z is 5. We can see that 1 into minus 2 plus 7 into 1 will give us 5. Which means that 1 and 7 can be written as a linear combination of their GCD or you can just put u as minus 2 and z as 1 and we'll get the right hand side. Now general solution is minus 2 plus 7t and z is 1 minus t. We'll go back to our equation 2 and we'll divide all over by 2. So we'll get 4x plus 3y is equal to u. Solving we get 4 into 1 plus 3 into minus 1 is equal to 1. Multiply all over by u. We will get 4 into u plus 3 into minus u is equal to u. When we substitute the value of u, we will get 4 minus 2 plus 70 plus 3 times minus u is equal to u. The general solution comes out to be x is minus 2 plus 70 plus 3t1, y is equal to 2 minus 70 minus 4t1 and z is equal to 1 minus t. We can again check whether the solution satisfies our original equation or not. If we put t and t1 both as 0, we will see that our equation is satisfied as the solution comes out to be minus 2, 2 and 1. Although we started with two different terms, we see that we are getting a different solution this time, but all these solutions satisfy the equation. So whatever combination we start with, Finally, we will be getting the same answers. For different combination of the terms, 
we get different general solutions. Thank you for watching.